miss a lot of family members, the neighborhood, grandchildren. They will never meet their grandmother. It was a murder investigation that stalled when police and prosecutors were literally blaming each other. Six years after Emma Jean Davis was killed in her hometown, her family feels as close as ever that they've been to justice. Thanks for joining us for this half hour of Local 4 News. I'm Rhonda Walker. And I'm Nick Monticelli. It was April 9th, 2018, when 50 year old, 58 year old Emma Jean Davis, a mother of six, was murdered inside of her home in Highland Park. As Jason Colthorpe reports this morning, police have identified a suspect giving her family renewed hope for justice. This is a murder case that didn't really go cold over the last six years. It just kind of went sideways. It's a kingdom. In April of 2018, I met with family and friends of Emma Jean Davis as they held a vigil outside her townhome following her murder. Then three years ago, we sat down together to talk about the investigation. And here it is. It's almost 22, man. You know, and to have the type of evidence that they have, if it was on TV, man, he would have been, he'd have been there, he'd have been in, locked up, man. A life, a, a precious life. Highland Park Police and the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office were blaming each other for not bringing a case against a suspect. But now, six years after Davis was strangled in her own home with no forced entry, Police and prosecutors have mended fences and expect an updated warrant request soon. You were frustrated then. Exactly. And now you're three years later. How much of a relief is it to see a little bit of progress? The family, entire family, is ecstatic yeah. to hear that. Even one step has been taken toward closure. Joy Canty, Emma Jean's sister-in-law, and her sister Cynthia Evans are careful not to get too hopeful because emotions for this family are still fragile. When you come back to this place, by the way, um, do you still have the same feelings from when you first lost her? <sighs> yeah. I, did. I thought I would be able to Yes. I didn't mean to. Stir no, that up in no, your mm -mm, yeah. no, no, because she was loved, like loved, and it's a lot of family members, the neighborhood, grandchildren. They will never meet their grandmother, or see their grandmother, a sister, siblings. So. And her kids. And she had children. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's it was it's still traumatic, and we still get emotional. Now, I did sit down with the Highland Park police chief and the lead detective on this, and understandably, they have to be very tight lipped at this point, which is why I was kind of vague in the story about where the investigation stands and what's next. But the bottom line here is we hope to have another update on this story coming soon. In Highland Park, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4.